Hey everyone, welcome to the new monthly project. This is number 31 and the theme is to turn a hero into a villain or vice versa. This theme boosts creativity and uh, it really touches on character concepts and uh, using your imagination. Plus it's just a lot of fun. I decided to join in on this project and I imagined Peter Parker getting a hold of the Green Goblin formula out of desperation and wanting to beat all his villains. But the formula made him crazy like the Green Goblin and he, and he took it too far. And you can see trophies of each villain that Peter Parker has taken down. I'm really excited to see what all the other artists have done with this theme so uh, let's get straight into it. Each month I pick three submissions to critique. So congrats to Luke Simix Lebon and Paul Cameron. These look awesome and I'll dive into the critiques towards the end of the video. Let's have a look at all the submissions. And I'd really like to start with this one. It's a huge collaboration between six different artists and they decided to team up to do this epic piece. It's the Sinister Six turned good. Renee has done Shocker. Mysterio is done by John McCarthy. Doc Ock done by Craig Stewart. Electro done by Zim Shady. Green Goblin done by Matt. And The Vulture done by Ty. I can't get over how good this looks. I'm really stoked with this. You're all very talented. The line work, the coloring, the rendering, it's all top notch. Very professional and this piece is very appealing. It just looks awesome. All right, let's get into some more. Paul has done He-Man turned Skeletor. I really love this idea. Such a cool spin on things and you've really absolutely nailed this art. I'm really getting some 80s vibes there. This looks great. Next up is Renee and you've done another character. This is a Sith Ahsoka, so if she's turned onto the dark side. I really love this, it's super crisp. She looks absolutely awesome, such a good spin on things too. Next up is Brett and you've done Moon Knight Corrupted by Mephisto. That's a really cool idea, I really love that concept. And this looks awesome, really really nice work there. That design is crazy good. Next up is Andreas and you've done a Venom that has turned good. I really like the design of his suit as well, it looks really good and I love you had a, an entire backstory to this and the symbiote actually looked up to Peter Parker and idolized him. And this is just great, I love the idea and the comic panel setup is really, really awesome. Well done on that. Next up is Matt and you've done an Emperor Luke. So Luke Skywalker has gone to the dark side. This is really cool, I like this idea. You can imagine how powerful he would be. This, I, I really love his eyes there and it just looks so dark and menacing, I love it. Next up is Tropex Art and this is if Harry Potter was in Slytherin instead of Gryffindor. I really love that idea, this concept is great. And the artwork is really cool, I love that creepy snake wrapping around. Next up is Tia and you've done a villain Storm from X-Men. I really love this idea. She looks awesome, so menacing. I love it. And next up is Abby, and you've done an evil Gwen, Spider Gwen. She looks really cool as a villain, and I like those spider legs. Super clean work there. And next is Eric, and you've done the penguin as the parrot. So he's now a good guy. I like that idea, that's so cool. Very cool design as well. Really loving those details there. And Mr. Freeze is a good guy as well. And he's serving up ice cream to kids. I, I love that concept. That whole idea there is just great. Next up is Sai, and you've done The Thing, Evil Thing. And I love the concept idea behind this. Reed Richard tried to bring Ben Grimm back to his human form, but the experiment failed and he mutated further and into an evil form of The Thing, and I love that. Looks really cool too, well done on that. Next up is Kevin, and you've done Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt, and they're evil versions of themselves. This drawing is really cool, I like the look of those guys, very evil looking. The suit design is really awesome there, I love that. Next up is Patrick and you've done a Cyclops and Jean Grey turned evil or bad. I like those suit designs as well, they look really good. It definitely has that evil spin on them, very nice work there. And next up is Skylar and you've done Superman as Two-Face, as if he's been half damaged by those toxins and just kind of turned evil. That's, that's a really cool idea and I, I like the way he looks here. Awesome artwork. And next up is Aaron and you've done an evil Jean Grey here or Phoenix. You've done a really good job of her suit there and just the artwork in general. She looks great. I really love her face. And then we have a hero Lex Luthor. He looks really cool and I like the uh, the suit. It kind of looks like the Flash. Very heroic there. Next up is Carl and you've done Mephisto Daredevil. <laughs> this is really cool. I like that because they're both kind of, you know, devil and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's a really good idea. 
And that is some really awesome artwork there. And next up is Douglas, and you've turned bad guys into good guys. We've got Mojo Jojo from Powerpuff Girls, the Monarch from Venture Brothers, and Lord Dominator from Wonder Over Yonder. Very creative, really, really cool work here. And then we've got Joel, and you've submitted a sketch here. I like how you've set it up like a comic book cover, and it's called Faded Scars, and you've got the Scarred Hunter here. And it looks like his evil self is fighting his good self. That's a really cool idea. All right, it's time for some critiques. We're going to start with Lucas here. And you've done What If Captain America Was a Hydra Agent. This is an awesome design. I really like the uh, the shield especially with the, the Hydra logo there and the black and the red. Very villainous. I really like everything about this. The explosion in the back. Did a good job of that. Yeah, very cool. So let's get into the critique. So I've just separated him from the background. Um, and you've done the right thing. I like how you've made him really dark and dense uh, because when you've got an explosion, such a bright light behind you, it's going to make the contrast really dark on him. So that's good. So I think what I'm noticing with the character is that it just needs a little bit more volume or, or some areas need to have a bit more edge to them um, when it comes to the anatomy. A few more curves or edges, uh, things kind of lifting out a little bit rather than being a little too straight. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm just doing a bit of a draw over um, of your same pose uh, and just so I can see the anatomy a little clearer. And there's a few things I just want to point out. So here's where I'm at so far. One thing I've noticed right away is probably the legs or the lower half of him is a little long in some places. So these legs here, um, just a tiny bit too long not too much so what I've done is I've lifted this leg up you can kind of see where yours is originally um, I've lifted it up more because it's kind of he's running and he's really got that kind of coming towards us and the other one you can see where the knee is there but on the original the knees a bit lower so I just kind of brought the leg and the knee up higher um, but I would like to change this a little more so if we want to make this pose a little more dynamic I might even pull that leg up even more like he's really charging at us and the other one can be going really far back. So I might even get with free transform. I will make it look like that is really going back in the distance a little bit more. And I feel like I need to rise that kind of crutch area up just slightly. So now that I've got that drawn in, I want to show you what I mean about adding a few more bumps and edges to the character to make it look more interesting. So in the original, you do have a little bit of volume there, but um, I would like to enhance that. And that'll really make the character a lot more interesting. You see, I'm finding that this hand is almost, see when I draw across the line that you've got there, it's just a little too straight up and down. Whereas I'd really like to see that forearm bulging out, you know, add layers on there and muscle and this, this bicep here really bulge that out, that tricep. Have the muscles feel like they're kind of layering over each other. So what I mean is you'll have your shoulder, say, and then at this angle, you've got the bicep really tucked behind, even though in... If we can see through that shoulder, that bicep, that whole arm would go like this, all right? We're going to have that bicep going back in space, you know, and the tricep will come out here. So it's really kind of like layering balls over each other, and that's kind of how you could treat that, and then have the elbow stick out of that, and then you could have the forearm really coming off that part there, you know, and then the wrist continues, that kind of thing. And it's really adding a lot of... A lot of interesting parts to the, that anatomy. You can see the kind of contouring there. If I put contour lines over, you can see where that's going. So by doing that, you can kind of see now it's a little too straight up and down, and I really wanted to kind of avoid that. And it kind of comes through, you know, the torso area and the leg area here, a little too straight. Whereas I'd really love to see a lot more volume. Another thing I want to try out just with this is I'm going to liquefy which is a really good way for me to play around with proportions and I can warp them. So I'm going to get the bulge tool and really, I'm going to see what happens if I can bulge the top half of his torso and really push that out toward us. And I'm going to exaggerate that. And then if I get the shrink kind of tool, I can do the lower half and push that back more. And then I'll press OK. Zoom in and I'll show you the difference. So I'm trying to get it more energetic, this whole pose. Let's try and see what happens if I do that to your pose. 
All right, so I've gone over and I've actually adjusted your original character to fit the new pose that I was setting up. Um, just so it's more dynamic and really coming at you. So let's, so as a comparison, before you see how it's just kind of pushed back a little bit and those legs seem a little long. So if we just make it more dynamic, really having lunging at you and filling up that space, I think it would uh, definitely make it a little more dynamic. So um, yeah, and I, don't worry, I think... I've done a pretty bad job of trying to uh, warp this. It has wrecked a lot of it, but you get the idea basically. So also I wanted to mention that that logo, the Hydra logo, I'm pretty sure that's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that's supposed to be in the middle of the chest, right in the center before it was off to the, the left a little too much. Because if we have a look at the, uh, the pose that I drew up based off your anatomy and structure, uh, the chest lines about there, whereas the logo went off to the left a bit too much. You see that difference there? There we go, so I've put it on the background so you can get a better look at it um, coming away from that explosion. So there's the original. And I think it just needed that extra dynamic kind of touch to it, you know what I mean? Just the leaning forward thing. And that's it, like I wouldn't change anything else. I like the way you've rendered it. I love the colors, they're really, really vibrant and popping. I think that's great. So I hope that helps, Lucas. I love your work, I think you're awesome. Done a great job, I love that explosion. And uh, yeah, keep it up. Next up is Simix Lebon. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, uh, but I really like what you've done here. You've got Thanos as a hero. This is a very cool idea. Um, I have to say straight off the bat, I really, really love how you've done that cape. You've actually, you've spent a lot of good time putting every little wrinkle in that cape. It's paid off. Like it, it's great. It looks awesome. It just looks great. I like that. He looks really cool. All right, let's get into some critiquing. So I've just sized up that leg, uh, the lower part of the leg, sorry, from the calf up. And I really just feel like it was just a little small before. And I understand um, there was some foreshortening going on, so in the original. But I just feel like it was a little too much. It'd probably look a little bit better if we just size that back up a bit more and kick it back. You can still have it kicked back. So something like that I'd recommend. You see the difference there in the leg? So bringing it up more, I just feel like that's a little more natural. I'd also probably get this one and size it down a little. Nothing major, just a bit like that. That's probably what I would do. Um, and I've got no other changes around the anatomy or anything like that, or the drawing. I think everything else looks really good. I'd probably just uh, remove this line here. Just those two on the side there, I feel like they were just, you see before and after. I just, I don't know, I feel like I needed to kind of take those out, but yeah, leave it like that, I think. Now, I think the main thing that I'd really like to address is probably the the design of the suit. Um, actually, the design is fine. It's more the colors. So there's too much blue. I feel like it's just a little bit overwhelming. So a good way to balance that out is probably just by changing Thanos's skin tone here to more of that purple. He's, he's pretty purple, really. So I'd bring that over, even maybe even lighten it up or something like that a little bit. I feel like that's fixed a lot of it already, but the best way to break up the blue and make it a little bit different is to um, break it into sections, like color grades. So you can have a lighter blue and then the darker blue and have them kind of contrast against each other and you'll get a really nice looking design in the suit. So I've put some extra suit lines in to break up these sections and now I'm going to uh, show you how we can do this. So if I down, we're gonna darken those right down and I'm kind of looking at uh, what you've done up here with the helmet. That's a dark blue, and that works really well with the gold. So I think if we have a nice dark blue like this, I feel like that's going to really help balance that out already. And I could even get the lighter blue and lighten it up even more, you see? Kind of like this, and now we're going to get a real nice balance through that suit. Only slightly. I'd probably do it just a little bit. Maybe if I go, yeah, something like, like that. And that's just going to help break up the contrast in all in this, this suit design. Now, uh, another good tip is when working with lighter colors like these yellow areas, see this whole yellow section? And then you've got this dark black outline. They, that can look a little too harsh at times. So I would sample this yellow. I've put a new layer over the top set to like 30% opacity and now I'm just painting over. And this is gonna help colorize those outlines. There we go. And I can even take up the opacity of that to really, you know, make that have more effect. 
I even went under his chin here. Um, you can see before and after, very, very different. But some areas you might want to have still kind of dark. But I feel like that's really helped soften this up a little and, and um, yeah, make it more appealing. I would even get the dodge tool and like if this is all flattened, I would just go over the top in some areas, make it a little brighter. So um, just want to give it a little bit more oomph, a bit more life on this cape a little bit. So I'm just going over with the dodge tool. Even on uh, this gauntlet especially, I'm really highlighting some of this gauntlet to make it look more shiny, I guess. And uh, these gems, I can really get the dodge tool in there and make them look like they're kind of glowing. And one last thing I would do is probably make a new layer over the top of him. I'm going to set it to a color mode of screen. And then I might just get a uh, nice bright color and start adding a little rim light around the edge of him. There we go. And oh, one more thing. I'd really love to see, especially in these darkest areas, just a look, it's like pure black ink work that's implemented in there. Just really heavy, dark parts. So only where the darkest parts are is where I would add it. So kind of like this. So just like that. Very subtle. Um, you can see it's kind of made a big difference. Just lifting out those darker areas. Um, and now he's got a little bit more contrast in those areas. Just to kind of, you know, balance it out between that dark blue. All right. So that is it. Let's have a look and see what we've uh, got now. So I'll zoom out. Uh, we'll go about there. And there's before and after. So it's really like, I mean, just with the suit design, is where I felt like it just needed a little bit more. Just that blue part balancing out. But yeah, you can see, especially the skin tone, I think has made a big difference, having that more purple. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I love your work. I think this is a great piece. You're really talented. I love what you've done. And um, yeah, so keep it up. I hope this helps. And last up is Paul Cameron. And this is awesome, absolutely epic. This is Superman if he was uh, bitten by Dracula or if he was just taken over by Dracula. This is a really cool idea, you know, really brutal. I, I just love the concept. I think it's great. You got the Superman logo. I love that kind of element around his waist there and the chains look awesome as well. Yeah, I think this is just some solid work from you, Paul. Awesome stuff. Let's dive into the critique. I think overall, I just, I would love to see these lines kind of cleaned up a little bit more. Just gets a little bit rough just around these areas here. You see around the torso area, those, those kind of lines and things like that. I'd really love to see that kind of tidied up a little bit more. So I'm just starting to go through and uh, tidy that up a little bit. Just want to highlight the difference just to show you um, what I mean. So before and after, you can see I'm just going to, I'll zoom in about here. Uh, the hand, I tried to tidy up a little bit more as well. Just It's just a tiny tweak, but I think it makes all the difference if it was just a little tidier. Might actually also darken some of these lines just a little bit. I'd love to get a little bit of some bolder, darker lines there. So kind of like I've done under the, the chin here. I started to kind of detail it there, you see? See that? Um, I'd like to go a little bolder in some areas and then thinner in others because this is such a dark kind of character in tone i mean uh and his like ambitions you know a villain um i'd really love to make the the outlines super dark and strong and a lot of contrast in them i'd even um outline the this blood here because without outlines it kind of has a different style and it feels like it doesn't match as much see what i mean i start to outline that blood and it kind of matches and blends in a bit better now Right, so I'm going to try and finish some more of this darker, dense kind of outlining and show you what I mean. I've just finished doing those inks around uh, Superman Dracula here. Um, so here's a before and after. It just adds more contrast to the overall image. You really want to make him pop um, and show off those details. And yeah, like I said, because he's such a dark 
mysterious kind of a villainous character i feel like we can go a little more with the black outlines uh rather than softening him up too much i feel like some of them just get a little lost i love how you got the veins you got lots of veins and wrinkles coming through that is awesome I'm just going to try something uh, to help with what you've got there. I'm going to blur the outlines. Uh, where are we? Motion blur. Um, and I'll just blur them a little bit, kind of like you have, so that it blends with your, with what you've done. There we go. So I think that, that kind of helps, because I had it really crisp before, and I like how you've kind of blurred it to come at us a little bit. So there we go. I've just blurred those out to match your artwork. But yeah, especially down, like... Things like the face here, you see inside the mouth. Uh, before it wasn't, yeah, you know, it wasn't black in there. But what I would do is really make anything that's like inside a mouth or really dense, like dark holes or or gaps, just go pure black. Like really, just pack it in there, and that's what I did there. Even under the eyebrows, the hair especially, really, because it's supposed to be black anyway. So I've really just drawn out those streaks. And you can really go quite heavy and solid in a lot of areas because um, it's black hair. You want to make it look dense. So to be honest, that's probably all I would do. I actually think that's all it needed. I love everything else you've done with it. The coloring's great. I think it's cool. I think the rendering that you've got here, because you've got kind of like a grungy textured rendering. I think if you did these kind of outlines, really thick, darker, kind of, you've got a lot of volume already, which was good. You know, if you do that, this kind of rendering just works perfect with it. It's like perfect. They just match. I think that's great. So your rendering's good. It looks really good with that. And I think, um, so yeah, there's the before and after. You can kind of see the difference. So yeah, that's, that's all I recommend with yours. I love everything else. So yeah, awesome work, Paul. And uh, keep it up. You're a legend. So that is it for this monthly project. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed going through all of those. Such a fun theme. So many great submissions. I really love all the suit designs that you guys came up with uh, when you're doing a bit of a crossover there from heroes to villains and you know vice versa. So yeah, so much fun. If you're new to this and you'd really like to join, uh, jump on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Patrick Brown. You can jump on board and uh, do some monthly projects with us. I put out new themes every month. And yeah, there's a lot of other content available, tutorials, art files, and plenty more. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.